The right wing media machine, including Fox News and MAGA, spent yesterday afternoon into the evening trying to figure out how can we start attacking Kamala Harris? They are assuming, maybe rightly, maybe wrongly, that Kamala Harris will be the Democratic presidential nominee replacing Joe Biden. And so they've got to start going after her as hard as they possibly can, except they have nothing. They have nothing. Trump at his own rally making fun of her laugh, saying that it's a cackle. Sean Hannity last night using the exact same approach, making fun of how she laughs. This is their takedown of Kamala Harris. Here's just one reason that voters seem to detest Kamala Harris. You decide. <laughs> okay. So. And is that a socialist or progressive perspective? No. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to conserve things. <laughs> I couldn't reconcile it. Now I can. <laughs> yes, you're giggling, Vice President. Here's yeah, there you go. So she laughs. And I guess to people who have both no sense of humor and hate their lives, a vice president who laughs is a very, very bad thing. By the way, hard to say that the way you laugh is a real problem while supporting Tucker Carlson. <laughs> right. So if we're going to open the door to how people laugh, it seems like a dangerous door to open. But this is all they have. Former Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway, the author of the term alternative facts, she went on Fox News and said that Kamala Harris doesn't speak well and doesn't work hard. And therefore, I guess people should vote for the civilly liable rapist convicted felon. She had disastrous staff turnover as vice president. I check it on the daily. Her public schedule, gentlemen, rarely has anything on it or one or two things on it. She does right. not speak well. She does uh, not work hard. All right. So Kelly, let anyone. me ask you. And she should not be the standard bearer for the party. Yes. All right. So really, uh, it, it's all I just kind of want to laugh because it's like, this is this is your critique. You guys are running Trump, who golfs more than any president in history, didn't start his days till 11 a.m. And your argument is Kamala Harris isn't working hard enough. And then back to Hannity, Hannity saying, oh, Harris is really bad. She wants to ban plastic straws. She wants to ban plastic straws. I love my plastic straw. I hate those paper straws. I Yep. So a really grasping at straws there is Sean Hannity. Uh, they've got nothing. That's what we're seeing here. And then Stephen Miller, a former Trump speechwriter, propagandist, uh, advisor, he uh, was so triggered by the possibility of Kamala Harris coming in to wipe the floor with Trump during debates that he just started screaming on Laura Ingram's show. They held a primary. People, they had ballots. They filled out circles. They went to the voting booths. They spent money on advertisements. And as President Trump said, the, the, the Republican Party spent tens of millions of dollars running against Joe Biden. Now they just woke up one morning and said, never mind, we're canceling the entire primary. We're, we're getting rid of our candidate and we're pretending the election has never even happened. And we're going to let donors handpick a new nominee. <laughs> so <laughs> now that's actually funny. The idea that this is this process is the problem. This is really the problematic process where there was a primary and now Biden decided, oh, I'm not actually going to run. And now Democrats have to figure out how they want to select a nominee. You can argue you can make the argument that depending on the way this is done, it arguably disenfranchises those who voted in, in the primary. I think that's a perfectly reasonable argument to entertain. But the idea that people should vote for Trump because of that reason, rather than evaluating the two candidates that we end up with, that's what they're counting on. That's what they're counting on, because they are terrified that whoever replaces President Biden on the ticket uh, is going to bring energy that will make Trump look like what he is in comparison, the oldest presidential candidate in American history.